you know, I really like this team. Uh, you know, that's who they've been on the practice field and in almost every game situation. And, uh, you know, we, we've always, I mean, we've had this sort of never, never say die attitude. Uh, at the same time, we got to, we got to be a little better. We got to finish a little better. You know, we got to defend a little better. And, uh, you know, like I said uh, this morning, uh, well, I got to coach a little better. You know, everybody's going to have to pick up the pace a little bit. Uh, you know, we play. Uh, we play teams that uh, that know us and take us seriously. And uh, if we want to win, we're going to have to. We're going to have to continue to continue to improve, continue to clean things up. Uh, you know, I. You know, I after the first game of the year when we beat Drexel in overtime. Uh, you know, uh, I was. I remember standing out here thinking it wasn't very satis- satisfying. Uh, you know, but uh, you know the way we all are, as shallow as I am, I'll take a W over an L. Uh, but uh, there's a lot to be proud of here in this effort. I thought today and. Uh, you know, uh, this, this, this team, if it continues to work hard and uh, continues to improve, uh, we still got a chance to do some damage. You talked about cleaning things up, and it just seemed like too often win a face off and throw it away or just you know, some, un- some yeah. uncharacteristic well, you know, thing. The other thing, too, though, is that when you don't win, you know, every little mistake, you know, just gets magnified. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, Maryland would probably feel the same way if the, re- if the result was the other way. You know, they threw the ball away a couple times, you know. Uh, you know, so we uh, we gave up some of the unsettled goals early that uh, that hurt us last week. Also, I thought we got a little better organized at halftime on our unsettled defense. Uh, you know, uh, but they uh, that was a good, good, good a good kid with their long pole there, and making those plays. And uh, you know, so uh, you know, I'd like to say, uh, I don't think there's, I don't think there needs to be big changes afoot. But uh, if we want to, we want to, we want to win at this level. We're going to have to play a little better. Tom, when you had. Uh... There was a sequence where O'Reilly had a two and one and he shoots it over the cage and then somebody passes to Emery on the crease and he misses it. Right. I remember that one. Of, in front of our bench. Yeah. Kind of how offensively at least things have been going. Uh, it felt a little bit like that, you know. I mean, uh, you know, we obviously have to work really hard on offense, uh, you know, and we're not we're not finishing the way we need to. Amato has certainly had something to do with that. Uh, you know, we're, we're just uh, we're just not quite there yet, you know. Uh, you know. Danelle getting a little healthier, you know, some guy, you know, get, gaining a little bit more experience on the attack and, and uh, doing some of those things. I think that will continue to come. Uh, you know, uh, again, an effort like this late in the game, you know, gives you a little bit of confidence. We need that, you know, going into the next game, you know, and, uh, and uh, you know, so, you know, it was just a, it was a couple of, couple of things, a couple of little things that we needed to be better at, uh, you know, we needed to score a couple more goals, we needed to keep a couple more out, you know, as much as anything else. 